this. Um, we just need to go through a couple examples, and that's really it. And that's all I want to do for, to provide you. So we have log base 6 of x plus log base 6 of x minus 9 equals 2. Now, one thing that I would automatically look to is, you know, so far we've learned two different methods, right? If I had an equation with one logarithm, to solve it, I could transfer it to exponential form. And when I had an lo equation with two logarithms, we made sure that both logarithms were on both sides of the equations, and then I was able to cancel them out, right? But here we kind of have a problem. One, I don't have one logarithm. I have two logarithms, and they're not equal to each other, so I can't cancel these out, right? A big misconception is to say, oh, two logarithms cancel out. No, no, no. That's when the two logarithms are set equal to each other. Now, they do have the same base, but I need a way to somehow combine these. Well, going back to our properties of logarithms, we know that when you have logarithms with the same base, then to combine them, what we can simply do is multiply, right? So it would be log base x uh, or log base b of x times y, right? Yes? Yeah. OK. So if you look at this to combine these two, I can say this is now going to be log base 6 of x times x, going a little further, x minus 9 equals 2. Well, how am I going to solve it from here now? We got a little issue. Yes? You put it into exponential form. Can't you distribute it? Well, you can distribute that, right. But even after you distribute it, you're still stuck. So yes, you go back to our homework assignment last class period, and now you say, oh, it's in logarithmic form. And since I have one logarithm, I can now rewrite this in exponential form. So rewriting in exponential form would be 6 squared equals distributing this through. I get x squared minus 9x. Then I get 36 equals x squared minus 9x. And then we go back to my first question I asked you, right? Now how do you solve? You set it equal to 0. And then we say x squared minus 9x minus 36. So now we say what two numbers multiply to give me negative 36, but then add to give me negative 9? 12 and 3. So we can say this now set equals to 0. So 0 equals x minus 12 times x plus 3. Now we can apply the 0 product property. So 0 equals x minus 12. Or 0 equals x plus 3. So then my two solutions are going, I don't know why I put parentheses there. Two solutions now are going to be x equals 12 or x equals negative 3. OK? Questions? We're going with this. Everybody got it?